So you've probably heard about making tax digital for income tax. This video will walk you through everything you need to know to sign up early for making tax digital for income tax. While it's not mandatory just yet, getting signed up early is a smart move. And good news, it's not too late to get on board for the 2025 to 2026 tax year. Let's look at the benefits of MTD with Sage. You might wonder why the beta is a good idea. So let's cover that first. First up, digital record keeping. The software takes care of all that repetitive admin stuff. So your accounts stay accurate and up to date and you spend less time sorting through heaps of paperwork. Next, real-time tax estimates. Sage gives you a snapshot of your tax position every time you submit an update. No more guessing games, just clear, up-to-date info to help you stay on top of your finances. Quarterly updates are the biggest change, but a positive one. They mean no more 12-month backlog and no more January panic. All that's left at year-end is a few final tweaks and submitting your tax return. If you sign up early, you'll have more time to get comfortable with the new system. Plus, you'll get exclusive access to HMRC's dedicated support team to help get ahead before it becomes mandatory. Signing up early is also known as taking part in the public beta. MTD for income tax makes tax less taxing. Before you begin, there are a few requirements to consider. You must already be using a compatible Sage solution or plan to sign up for one. In addition to Sage requirements, you must meet the MTD public beta eligibility with HMRC. Full details can be found on their website. To get started, go to gov.uk. Use the search option to search for making tax digital for income tax. Then click here to access the correct article. Make sure you read this article before signing up. There's a lot of great information such as who should sign up and when, information before you attempt to sign up and things you'll need along the way. When you're ready, click sign up now. Next, check the information shown on screen and if you're happy with this, click continue. Now, enter your government gateway user ID and password. Follow the steps with HMRC to sign up to the beta. Once you're signed up, there's a few quick and easy steps to take in your Sage software. We'll show you this now. You will find the income tax settings in the same place, regardless of which Sage solution you have. Within settings and business settings, locate the income tax option. This page explains the eligibility and provides a link to HNRC to find out more. As you have already been approved by HNRC, click Start. You'll receive a message as we will need to add an income tax category and a tax report to your accounting. Read the message about the public beta. Once you enable MTD for income tax, you can't disable it. To continue, click here. Next, you should connect the software to HMRC so that you can send your updates. To do this, click here. This message confirms that you will set up your connection and allow Sage to interact on your behalf. You'll need your gateway credentials and your national insurance number. Read this page carefully and to continue with the process and be redirected to the gov.uk website, click Start. Read this message and to move on to the next step, click Continue. This message advises what you'll need to sign in. To continue, click here. Enter your credentials and click Sign In. Read the details here about the permissions you are granting. When you are ready to continue, click Give Permission. You are automatically redirected back to your Sage software. Enter your national insurance number and click Continue. Check your business details and to finalize the setup, click Confirm. Your software is now connected to HMRC and you are able to process and submit with the Making Tax Digital for Income Tax Public Beta.